Hi, and welcome to another session of the Beer Broads. We are the Beer Broads. Um, my name is Joanna. This is Adrian, and this is Audrey. Hello. And here is Adrian to tell us about our first beer that we are going to review tonight. We're doing Flying Fish um, Exit Four. It's an American Triple. It's a uh, bottle condition. It's a first release in a limited series. As diverse as the great state of New Jersey, our theme is the state long artery that connects us. Each beer will focus on the unique aspect of an individual exit, whether event. The journey begins at exit four right up the street from the Flying Fish Brewery. As one of the first we've chosen to start with the Belgian triple finished with plenty of American hops. Of citrus with hints of banana and clove. The taste then taste the Belgian malt flavors and Subdued bitterness in the finish. Bottle conditioned, this beer will develop as it ages. Enjoy. Wait, are we still <laughs> Oh, okay, this is our regular one, so this is okay. Alrighty then, let's open her up. <laughs> we don't make filler beers. I think we should just say what the style is. I don't like the reading. <laughs> This is my first beer. This should be entertaining. So what's the style of this again, Adrian? It's an American double? Abby? Triple. 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 Alright, exit four. Let's see if we can drink and drive. And we're using uh, some different Just style kidding. glasses. Um, you know, so we'll, we'll, we'll kind of discuss the smell and the taste coming out of different styles, which is always a fun thing to do. And we'll also uh, announce what we're, we're going to announce tonight, what we're going to do next. We're looking for a banana clove flavor. There's more in this bottle here, ladies. Let's fill it up. We got two of each of these. We <laughs> around. We got two of each of these, so. There's beer we drink it. That's yeah. why we're the beer frogs. Major right? is like the phone queen. <laughs> Adrian likes head. Mm. <laughs> mm. All right, so this is real nice and light. It's not translucent at all, though. No, I can't see anything through it. Which is me. I don't know what no, I smell. I don't know what I smell. I'm it's like, like a pear. I smell a little yeah. citrus. A little citrus. I, I swear I can smell banana. I don't but smell maybe banana. It's still here. I think I smell yeast. I smell to be like honest. This. Smell this one. <laughs> no, you're right. There's no banana coming out of this glass. Do you, you smell, smell that one? A little bit, yes. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's cool, right? You were trying that earlier. Yeah, that's, that's why I like trying it out of different glasses. And you can do it You should try that. You know, if you get a big bottle, get two different glasses. Even if you're just drinking it by yourself, try it out of two separate, you know, different style glasses and see what you get. Because I'm willing to bet the taste is going to be different. We are. All right, ladies. Ladies. Salute. Salute. Yummy! Ooh, wow. Ooh. It's actually kind of mild for a triple. I don't. I don't think um, it's that intense. No, I think you know it's what? For a intense. triple, it is intense, but it doesn't taste like I expected it to as being a triple. Goes expected, down. It goes down pretty easy. I expected it to be more like hold in the back of my throat. Normally, a triple or a quad, I always feel like I have to. It's hard to explain. Swallow. But yes, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Cleanse your palate. Like it's a little, a little this hard lighter. to get yeah, down. Absolutely. This is lighter that than I expected it to be. But after it's completely down my throat, then I do get a little taste of banana in my mouth. I must say that I'm extremely happy that there is no taste of banana. It's very I, slight. I don't like, it's very slight because I was worried too. Yeah, but, I, when I read that. I yeah. mean, the cloves and the banana, I wasn't sure I'd like that, but this is not at all. Now the cloves, I'm not getting. The spiciness, yes, not the cloves. Maybe. Hmm. Okay. A spice of some sort. There's no aftertaste. No, none. It's pretty easy. I would disagree with you. <laughs> um, it's sticking at the top of my palate. Right back here. It's sticking with a, uh, it's not a bad taste, but it's definitely a, 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 a to describe it. No, it's not really malty. It's like a thick ale taste. Adrian, what do you think? It's I think it's almost like a, I don't even know how to, like a vinegary smell, almost. I can yeah. see that. Um, which I'm not really liking. Would you like to try out this one? Sure. Would you, you like to try I would very Absolutely. much. This is a fun experiment, people. I'm telling you. Try this at home. I see out of this glass, there's a lot more citrus smell. It's, it's, it's booming. 
It doesn't smell as much, so I think the full flavor of the beer is not hitting me as much, and the flavor of the beer I'm not a big fan of. So this glass is actually helping me out. Is what it? do you think? You're getting more body yes. when you drink out of that yes. one? Yes. Yeah. Really, you yeah. know what? I can see sediment in there now as it settles a little bit. Yeah, there's a little the bit last of, of the bottle. There. That's why. Yeah. Hmm. yeah. Good point. I mm -hmm. dig that. And there's no head on this. Even, you know, Adrian poured a gigantic head in that glass. It's gone. It's not lacing the glass really mm. at all. Ooh, um, nice. A little sticky. A little sticky. It's thin, but it tastes it's syrupy. It does give you that. Um, yeah. That, what would you call that? The double flow, the... I don't know how to describe it. Not hard it. to get down, but definitely still sticks in there. This is not a beer that... Linger. Yeah, the film. Linger, man. Little <laughs> film. Beer I can drink quickly. I would, I, this is a very... For me, uh, this is a sipping beer. Like, just this very small beer. sips. Like, I, I really would don't want to have more for like five minutes, minutes right now, you know? Um, certain beers, I can just, you know, no problem, because I just love them. <laughs> That's how this I want this. I don't know. Yeah, I'm a triple. Fan. I'm a I'm a Belgian stripper girl. Well, tell, tell us what you think then. I I think it's good. I mean, yeah, it has a little film in it, but I think it goes down really easily. Since we couldn't find what alcohol content is it, this is, I think we should all guess. Sounds good. I think it's seven. I was gonna say about seven point five. I was gonna say eight. Okay. Yeah. Now it could be ten, and you wouldn't know right. because. If this is yeah. that type of beer, it could sneak off on you and you could get... Yeah. Especially sorry. if you like it, like Joanna. If you really like this, this could waste you. Yeah. Like, no, this would be horrible. This needs to be, this this needs to be, be iced. <laughs> iced. This for is me. me. For me. You know, that's a matter of opinion, though. So, Adrian, out of five, um, what do you think? I love the beer, although it's a little... There's some something that I can't figure... I wow. can't... Grab the taste. I can't grab it. I can't it's probably the verbalize banana. it. I don't know what it is. You're like, what is but that? I don't. I don't taste the banana. I do. I think I would do like a three and a half. Okay. Three and a half. I probably rate it a three point five. It's a good triple. Um, it's definitely easy on the tongue. Uh, I think. I think girls can drink this. It's. It's a. It's a pretty unisex beer. So. So, Odd, what do you think? I think. I'm not a fan. So mm -hmm. I'm gonna lay it out like that. Um, in terms of, you know, as far as I can tell, with triples, not a fan, so it's tough for me to give it a rating, but I'm going to say, because I don't want to be judgmental, because I don't like them in general, I'm just going to give it an average of 2.5. Might be lower, a lot of you might absolutely love this and be like, you are crazy, and you don't know shit, but, you know, as I said, not a fan, so I'm going to have to say 2.5. Thank everybody for joining us on another episode of The Beer Broads. If you want to visit us on email, you can email us at beerbroads at thebeerbroads.com. And if you have any questions or comments about Flying Fish Exit Series, you can visit them at www.exitseries.com. They have almost 20 Exit Series beers, and I'm sure they'd love to hear from you. Absolutely. So from right now, I'm going to sign off. It's Joanna, Adrian, and Audrey. And Audrey. And we're at thebeerbroads.com. And she love. We love your recommendations, send them in. And yes. men, not just ladies, we so love men too.